Hello everyone, today's lesson is lesson 22, Equal Groups, Problems with Fractions. So here I have a problem, two-thirds of the 12 musicians played guitars. How many of the musicians played guitars? This is a two-step problem. The first thing I need to do is figure, is draw a diagram to see what this looks like. When I draw a diagram, I start by making a long rectangle. At the top, I put the total. In this case, it's 12 musicians. Then I'm going to divide my diagram up into fraction pieces. The fraction I'm going to divide it up into is here. In this case, it's thirds. It would be the denominator of my fraction because two thirds looks like this. So that means I need to divide this rectangle into three pieces. Now I know that two-thirds play guitars, so off to the side I'm going to show two of these smaller rectangles are the ones that play the guitars. I'm going to show that with a G, which means this portion here does not play a guitar. So I'm going to just put an N for does not play. Okay. The last step is I need to figure out how many musicians go in each box. And to do that I'm going to take the 12 and divide it into three equal pieces. Well, 12 divided by three is four. So I would have four musicians in each of these boxes. And we can always double check by counting. Four, eight, 12. That equals the total number of musicians. Okay, now we look at what the question asks. The question is asking how many played guitars? So I'm looking at these two numbers and 4 plus 4 equals 8. That means that 8 people played guitars. Okay. So on this next one, we're going to do the same thing. The problem's a little bit different. Corey has finished 3 fourths of the 28 problems on the assignment. How many problems has Corey finished? Again, I start by drawing my diagram. The total 28 goes at the top, and I know how many pieces to break this rectangle into because the denominator tells me it's in fourths. So I need four pieces. One, two, three, four. I then know that he's finished three-fourths of the problems. So I'm going to show over here three-fourths, and this is how many are finished. So now I'm going to figure out what's 28 divided by the four sections. Well, 28 divided by 4 is, tw is 7. So that means that 7 problems go in each of my boxes. Then I see that I want to know how many he's finished. And that are these three boxes. And that 7 plus 7 plus 7 equals 21 problems. Okay, you can also do 7 times the 3 boxes to get 21 if you don't want to add. We can also do this with money. This problem asks how much money is 3 fifths of $3? On this one, I'm going to actually have to divide the $3 by 5 to get the number of cents that I need. Okay, so I'll still start off by drawing my diagram. Three dollars at the top. It needs to be in five pieces. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going just to divide the three dollars by five. Okay, five can't go into three. Five goes into 36 times. That's 30, subtract, 0, bring down the 0, 5 goes into 0, 0 times. So that means that 60 cents goes into each of my boxes here. Oops, wrong way. There we go. Alright, so it then asks us how much is three-fifths. 
so I need three of these boxes. So to find the answer, I'm going to take the 60 cents and times it by three. Three times zero is zero. Three times six is 18. So this would be a dollar, one dollar and 80 cents. So now we have what number is three fourths of 100? Okay, so I'm going to draw my diagram, divide it into fourths, 100 at the top, 100 divided by 4 is 25. And then I need to know 3 fourths, or 3 of these. Well, 3 times 25 equals 75. So 75 is 3 fourths of 100. Now this last part is asking about percents. What percent of a whole circle is one-fifth of a circle? Well, I know that a whole circle, the percent of a whole circle, will be 100%. So on this first part, because I just need to know one-fifth or one piece, I can go ahead and just divide this by 5, and it will tell me my answer. So 100% divided by 5 is 20%. So one-fifth of a circle is 20%. To figure out what three-fifths is, I'm going to go ahead and draw that diagram again. It's broken up into fifths. 100% at the top. And I already know that 100% divided by 5 is, oops, is 20. So 20% 20 goes in each of these boxes. So then I just need to figure out what three-fifths is. So here's one, two, three. Twenty percent times three is sixty percent. So three-fifths of a circle equals sixty percent. Okay, and that's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching.